Hey gods, we're back for post game. I could use your webcam for this. Gods? Don't leave me, gods. Don't leave me. There you go. I'm here. Ah, I was just, there you. I was pestering. I was pestering Twitch TV. Uh, about the lag what? issues. No, no, no. Just, just various, various okay. things. Okay, mysterious, various things. So, gods. This series, I mean, we talked a lot about it. I think this, that, especially that game one, is something people are going to be reviewing uh, for a while and sort of how the hell did they do it. But in the end, it is DK who prevail. And I, I think that was sort of the result that makes the most sense. DK have the more veteran players. Uh, and just, like you said, really seem to be taking to this ver new version a lot better. Sure, they'll mix it up. They'll throw the four protect one in there. But they feel way here and there. But they feel way more comfortable doing the aggressive type of stuff. Whether it's something like a Templar Assassin or the Slard Art, LGD, it just didn't really feel like it was their element. Yeah, LGD, it was from each from game to game, they just sort of mix up the picks a bit, especially the game number two, the Suicide Alchemist. It's, I hope it's something I never see again in competitive Dota. It gave me headaches, it'll give me nightmares. It did not stand a chance of working. I'm not sure what Zhao Wei, who's been a fantastic captain over the last three to four months, was thinking with that. Um, I have nothing against him as a player or them as a team, but it was just something which came completely out of left field. LGD not known for their innovation. They, they're they known for sort of executing strategies to perfection. They're a team really built, built around practicing and just executing, refining strategies of other teams, as well as some of their own, adding their own unique elements. But having completely innovative strategy is just not for them. I keep on moving the Skype around just compulsively and then realizing that does move your face, but... Uh, uh... Whoops. Yeah, I, we're at a point now where DK and IG, probably the two most consistent Chinese teams as of late, they will be moving on into the land finals. So they're comfortable, they're secure with their spots there. LGD and Orange are the two teams that, you know, sort of next in line, and, and they drop down. I would. What do you think about these matches coming up? We have MUC versus Flash tomorrow. That's a 20 SGT. Who's your dog in that race? How close do you think it's going to be? And I'll leave you with uh, that for now. <laughs> it's. I mean, I feel. I mean, the, once again, the 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 clear choice is going to be MUFC. Much like today, it should have been DK. Today, I thought LGD. I just had this hunch which they could do it. And after game one, I'm thinking, wow, I'm I'm, I'm quite surprised that my hunch is actually right. So I don't think I actually fully believe my hunch. I I'm, I'm not even gonna. I don't. I won't suggest that Flash will take down MUFC. I think they may have the potential to take it to three games, but. In the best of three, MUFC, their experience, uh, I believe they've just beaten a uh, Flash Axie in the GSE Dota 2 tournament. MUFC should take it either 2-0 or 2-1 at, at worst. Yeah, so MUFC, the prediction for you, I'm going to go out on a limb and say Flash take it 2-1. Uh, but uh, it should be MUFC. Wow. MUFC have to be the, the prohibitive favorite just from the experience. And they have been playing pretty well. Like you said, they faced up earlier today and it was MUFC that prevailed. So we expect them to win. But... As far as the other groups, or the other playoff match goes, we have Tongfu versus EG. This is our second elimination match of four to come before we get to the land finals. Tongfu versus EG, this is a bit of an oddball matchup. DK, you know, we talk about things like the Knight strategy, the, the triple Midas, the Nakes bomb. It's always something off, like oddball with them, but they do make it work from time to time. Do you think that sort of thing is going to work against Tanfu? And if not, can they beat them playing more standard? I think they go cheesy. Uh, it, I think it's where EG are most comfortable, whether it's the knight strategy, something where they go, get just get Malk on his chin, go for that group up and push with something like a DK or Fear on his lone druid. Maybe they go even for an undying. Fear's played that in the past as well. We've seen a bit of undying by a couple of teams. So I think they at least one or two of the games they'll look to go cheesy and gimmicky. Maybe one game they'll play fairly standard and just see how that matches up against Tongfu. Tongfu are a team who haven't been all that consistent. Uh, they did luckily get a get a win, a win. We get one win, walk away with a draw against Orange, securing their third place in this group. But this is a matchup which I I feel EG have a good chance of. I this is a, to me is fifty fifty probably probably one of the closest matchups we have in this playoffs. I feel like for the other three, there's sort of one team you can say I think they'll win, but here. I, I don't know. I, I'm just I'm drawing blanks. I don't know who could come out on top. EG have an actual good chance, I feel. All right, so I, I agree with you. I think this one could go either way. Pink could be a factor. EG's going to have some struggles with that. But, hey, they've, won some de they've beaten some decent opponents before with significant delay in the past, and they sort of knew about the Pink coming into the tournament. So let's see if they can make anything happen. Either way, whichever team advances forward from both of these matches, 
Can you see these teams from the round of eight actually taking down a team like LGD or Orange? Or are, is it just going to be sort of the favorites, the higher seeds that move on into the land finals? I don't see either team having a good chance against LGD. LGD will learn from these matches today. Sure, they, they were a bit shaky at times. Their drafting was a bit off at times, I feel. But they'll learn about that. They'll analyze their opponent that they're going to be up against. And they know all they've got to do is beat either what, Tongfu or EG to get to that top four land finals. Then they're back sort of on level footing. And that's really where LGD want to be. So I, I feel neither team will have a good chance against LGD, who are just sort of a much more refined and more well-rounded team. Yeah, LGD actually will be playing against MUFC or Flash, uh, as far as the groups go. It's kind of this weird oh, yeah. format. Yeah, yeah. Does I that does that change it. anything for you, or, do you, or would you still say LGD uh, are the favorites there? I think MUFC have a chance. I don't know how much of a chance. I mean, it was a 1-1 draw during the group stage. I think MUFC, depending on... MUFC are just so hot and cold. They have some amazing games. They do really well against Orange, usually. But apart from that, they'll have some games where they, they lose to teams they shouldn't. They'll have some, some questionable performances. So I just don't think MUFC are consistent enough. Yeah, and, and we seen we saw LGD did a pretty good job of adapting to a very talented opponent in DK. And MUFC, they sort of have... I wouldn't say they're predictable, but they have heroes they really favor and rely on, whether it's the jungles for lane or, you know, the strong sort of typical Southeast Asian souls like Queen of Pain. And I think that plays into the hands of a team like LGD, who once they, if they know what you're going to do, can really kind of throw you for a loop. They really struggled today to me because DK was a little bit more elusive and difficult to pin down as far as how they would play. The last match, I'll take this one, I suppose. We have Tang Fu versus EG. The winner of this goes on to face Orange. I don't see either of these teams beating Orange. Orange wasn't playing with Ice, 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 if I recall correctly, in their first match. And sure, yeah. you might argue KYXY's played with them before, but for me, I really think there is some role confusion when KYXY's playing and Diamante and Mushi are. I don't really think any of them, and you talked about it, they're not comfortable in the offlane or the three position. None of their players aren't. It limits their draft. It limits how they can play. I see Orange, if Ice, Ice, Ice plays, I see them taking a pretty solid victory. I would say 2-0 over either team. Maybe it goes 2-1, but I just don't see them kind of surprising or knocking knocking Orange off. Yeah, I'm, I, I really feel that Orange is going to 2-0 either of those teams with relative ease. I think who it's going to be is just the one question remaining. We'll have to wait and see. I'm, I think EG will take it. I'm, I'm actually going to predict EG to beat Tom Fu, but it's it's going to be a really scrappy game, and I don't feel it's going to be... I, I mean, it'll be, it'll be an interesting, exciting game, but I feel that it's not going to be quite at the level of like what we saw with IG versus Orange. Well, there you have it, guys. That's our predictions and sort of our brief preview into the games that are coming up later this week. Tomorrow, it's MUC versus Flash. We have a game every day all the way up until we break before the land final. So tomorrow, it's MUC versus Flash. I believe the next day, it's Tongfu versus EG. And then we work through the last two round of six matches, which will be uh, DK, or excuse me, LGD versus the winner of MUC versus Flash. And finally, Orange versus the winner of Tongfu versus EG. But for tomorrow, all you guys need to remember, all you need to know is that MUFC versus Flash is coming up and should be a very exciting series. Flash, whether they win or lose, they always play aggressively. Sometimes they even pick these unusual heroes like Pudge. So if you want something a little bit different, if you got bored today by Chinese Dota or standard play, uh, although I thought there were some very interesting moments, then you'll definitely get some some overextensions and amazing plays from these teams. That's what awaits us tomorrow. Gods, any party words for the viewers before we let them go? I just want to say thanks to LD. We've he's been casting since like two in the morning. We had GST Dota two. This has been a, this is kind of back to like your binge long long term casting. So it's been a long hard day. Thanks everyone who's been watching all day long from the GST Dota two all the way onto the G1 league that we've just done now. It's been, I, I believe, about... We're looking at almost 12 hours of solid casting here. We started about uh, yeah. 10 hours ago. So it's been a long day, but it's been a lot of fun, and it's kind of really getting back into it for both of us. Uh, we did some solo casting, did a lot, and you guys who tuned in for so much of that... It means a lot. So uh, for those of you guys who want to know when we're next live streaming, when we're, when we're doing content and stuff, be sure to just follow us, support us on Twitter, Facebook. I'm GGNetGods. LD is LD Dota. And as always, all the VODs are uploaded on YouTube. They're available on Twitch TV. You can check them out. Most of you know where they are. If not, ask in chat. Someone will tell you. Yeah, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's broadcast. Again, a huge thanks to you guys for supporting us. Also, for just appreciating Asian Dota. If you take nothing else away from a broadcast, I hope you just see how amazing these teams are not just the chinese but also just the exciting individual play of teams like orange mufc and flash and 
You know, even EG, sort of that North American wild card. I'm, I'm going to be rooting for them. I would love to have a North American representative at the LAN finals. It's a real long shot, but who knows? Anything can happen. Miracles do happen from time to time. You're always dark horses in a game like Dota. We'll find out if one of those dark horses, Flash, can get the ball rolling, get some momentum towards the LAN finals tomorrow when they'll be facing off against MUFC at 20 SGT. Guys, until then, this is LD and Gods signing off. And for everyone who is still tuning in, I just want to let you know, we're going to run some ads. We're, ten we're trying to do this after every broadcast instead of running too many in the middle. So for those who hate ads, who don't want to watch them, that's fine. Just turn off the stream uh, and come back tomorrow for the broadcast. If you want to support us, leave adblock off. Uh, but either way, we're not offended. We don't mind. We certainly respect those who, even if you just want to leave adblock on and listen to the music, that is certainly your prerogative and, and no problem either way. But... Just giving you a heads up, full disclosure, we're just going to run some ads. The stream is over, but we'll be back tomorrow at 20SGT. Until then, thanks for tuning in.